I want to um, point out something that you guys are going to see in this upcoming game. Um, it's really important to know when you're trying to play Tracer for the correct way to try to stall extra time so your team can get back um, to recontest the point. This is really good on like 2CP. It also works on a lot of assault maps, um, even sometimes on like payload and stuff. But this is really important. So let's say you're defending on the first point in Numbani and you're trying to defend this first point. What you want to do, like if your entire team is dead and you know that they're kind of like halfway back or like, you know, they're making their way back and you think that your whole team can recontest, let your team know that you can stall. And then what you want to do is you want to sneak around into the point and just hide for a second. As soon as the first person sees, sees you, blink to a corner. As soon as they turn, blink to another corner. As soon as they turn, blink to another corner. And then as soon as they turn again, hit recall and then try to blink around the payload and start hiding like this. This is really, really good because you can buy up to, let's say like five to 10, well, I'd say about 10 seconds. And 10 seconds is enough for your team to get all the way from the, the spawn back to the point. So if you guys coordinate it well enough to recontest, then you know you can buy a lot of time on Tracer. And while you're doing this, um, you unless you're really close to your pulse bomb, or if you think you can one clip a support like a Zenyatta or Mercy, there's no reason to shoot. I mean, you could like shoot a little bit if you want, but honestly, if you just put all your attention into stalling and staying alive, it's more important to just try to stay alive as long as possible instead of uh, shooting people. Yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, let me know what you think. Got it, soldier. Damn it. My ultimate is almost ready. My ultimate is almost ready. This is the most uh, coordinated dive with no comms I've ever experienced. Yeah, I got you. My ultimate is almost ready. Sixty seconds remaining. Tracer's gonna come up for a zone. Wait, they don't have a Tracer. That's our Tracer. One. 
I'm gonna come res you, dude. Got you. Hello. Lucio, Lucio. Dead. No support. Did you want? Wow. Nice fucking salt, Tracer. Score. Zero. Zero. Sorry, guys. I have my mic um, muted. Oh, I didn't have. My mic was on in game, but I have my studio microphone muted. Commences in 30 seconds. So you guys probably know, definitely notice a difference. Um, if you're watching like me play Tracer versus Junkrat, uh, when I play heroes like Tracer and Widow, I tend to not have much voice comms at all on my team, but I'm definitely listening, and I do make very important callouts when I need to. But when I play Hit scan, I usually tend to focus on my gameplay versus focusing on uh, team communication. But whenever I play a projectile hero or right, tanks, ready? definitely team communication is best. Uh, I want to wait to recall so I can get back up top. Oh, that's uh, not with you. If I would have recalled early, I would have recalled on top of the point or back to where I was on the other high ground. But if you wait to recall, I can recall back on the high ground where the Zen was. <clears throat> Unlike the he like shotgun ended up killing me, but that's fine. Someone's top left, and there's a more coming in as well. Or is that someone's top left? Yes, Good job, guys. Play of the game.
Not too bad. Play of the game. You'll like this one! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember I stream 7 days a week on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime and want to support my channel, you can subscribe once a month for free. But remember, you'll have to manually renew it every 30 days. And finally, I want to thank you all for the support you've given me so far.